What's up guys, Super Dark Water here on the channel. Um, got Crypto chilling with me. And uh, about to review Batman number 40, and it's Tuesday. So I got this early, got to re read it early, and I'm really excited about it. It was so good. Um, I just want to point out, I really like this, how they make the color of the of the bat like turquoise, and it's like the same as the corner piece. And I love these new corner um, stamps. Like, it just looks really cool. I liked the Rebirth titles, but I like this because it's more classic comic books. Um, so you got this cover by, I think it's by Joel Jones. Um, yeah, Joelle Jones. So she did the Lady Killer book. Go check out my review of that, Dark Horse Comics. So it's Wonder Woman. It's kind of funny because this cover, they should have switched the covers actually because this takes place in like this other realm and this takes place here when she shows up with the bat signal or with the bat signal, but that happens in this comic book like right here. So it's like, it's weird that they use this cover for, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, but yeah, it's still really good. Look at that. Like Batman back here. This reminds me of like David Finch and Wonder Woman looking beautiful as ever and the bat signal behind her. Just looks awesome. It's a really uh, cool cover. It pops. It's it's like glowing almost. Um, written by Tom King. Art by Joel Jones. I love Tom King. He's really, really easy to read. And uh, but also it's it's very deep. It's it's um, it's not a simple comic. It's simple, but it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's it's a story about heroes, what really makes a hero. Um, this guy is the gentleman and he makes his sacrifice over in this other realm where he has to fight uh, all these demons. Sorry, I'm like not doing this very well. So yeah, he like he's like normally fighting all these like weird demons um, and forever, but he's taking a break to go visit his wife. So Wonder Woman and Batman agreed to fight for him. But what he lied to them about was that time passes differently. So they've been stuck there for like 20 years or something. And it's only been a few hours here on Earth. So Catwoman's pissed about it because she's like, did they know that they were going to be stuck there for that long? And he's like, no. So then things are getting steamy between Diana and Bruce. <laughs> uh, they're by the campfire. And she's like, and he's like, Diana. it's called The Realm. So it's literally just called The Realm, year 10. So he's like, Diana. She's like, Bruce. He's like, she's like, Bruce. He's like, we can't. She's like, no, we can't ever. And then, um, so they were going to hook up, but they didn't. And I was like, no, I wanted them to hook up so bad. But she's like, you love Catwoman and I love Steve Trevor and yada, yada. So the gentleman goes to visit his uh, wife here on Earth because he's apparently got a human wife. Um, and um, then she's this really pretty Asian girl. And um, she opens the door and she starts crying because she never sees her husband, basically. Yeah, I don't understand how this relationship works, but apparently they love each other, so. Um, and then Batwoman and Cat, Batman and Wonder Woman are in the realm year 24, and they're just kind of getting discouraged and trying to encourage each other. Um, and then the gentleman is visiting with his wife, and Catwoman's getting really irritated because she's like, you said briefly, how long... And he's like, do you know how long it's been? Please, another hour or two. And she's like, and what is that for them? And he's like, a decade or more. And she's like, I'm sorry. So then um, it's back in year 14 in the realm. And like I said, they're just kind of encouraging, encouraging each other to keep freaking fighting these monsters. Look at this. Looks so awesome. I didn't even know this was coming out. Dark Knight's Rising. Jorge Jimenez. Grant, not Scott Snyder. Grant Morrison. James. Look at that. Howard Porter looks awesome. Um, I can't wait to read that. I love all the Dark Knights Metal books. They've been great. Um, and so back at the realm, year 31. So they've literally been stuck here for 31 years. I love that because like, wow, Bruce and Diana are really getting to know each other. Like this really like um, shows that the Trinity, you know, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, they, they really are best friends. They're, they're getting to know each other like on a whole nother level. They've literally been together for over 30 years. Um, and Batman's talking about how he misses Ace the Bat Dog, and Wonder Woman's talking about how she misses her kangaroo, which I didn't even know she had a kangaroo, uh, and his name's Jumpa. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, and then the gentleman is uh, talking to Catwoman, and he's just talking about how he literally has to fight every day to save everyone from the, the demons breaking into the realm. I mean, breaking into the real world from the realm. He's like, so I lied once because it's been so many years of blood killing all these demons and I could not live one more day without her. 
like referring to his wife. And uh, then finally, Catwoman and gentleman, he like turns back, he like puts back his like warrior suit, and it's so cool. He like does like spinning chain thing and like smashes the ground to go back into the realm. They're on Batman and Wonder Woman are freaking year thirty seven, and he's like Diana, they're on your. And then this like light happens and the gentleman returns. He's like, all right, you bastards, make it worth it. And uh, Batwoman, I mean, I keep saying Batwoman, Batman and Wonder Woman uh, return. And uh, she's like, we're home. <laughs> and Catwoman's crying. And um, Wonder Woman's hugging Batman goodbye because they literally were together for 30 years. Like, that's crazy. And um, she thanks Catwoman and and Wonder Woman is like, you know, you're a criminal, but everyone says you're a criminal, but I think you may be more than that. You're a hero because she basically let her borrow her man for 30 years. Um, and then um, Catwoman just basically says that next time they have to go f help the gentleman out, give him a break that she's going to go. And uh, or she's like, tell him this time Batman wife, Batman's wife will join her husband in battle. And she's like, hmm, both of us there. I didn't understand that part. Hmm, both of us there. Perhaps then the hordes will not be so everlasting. So I guess, like, the three of them are going to go fight them? I don't know. And then Catwoman basically just asks if Batman cheated on her. And he's like, well, I wasn't good, but I wasn't bad either. So, <laughs> uh, and that's the end. So, I don't know. It was just a really great, like, two-part story. It, I think I liked the, the first issue better because um, it was kind of more, like, you thought that Batwoman, Batman and Cat, bleh, Batman and Wonder Woman were gonna hook up, and this one they kind of just like killed it. But there's still some really great artwork. Yeah, and there was more shots of the gentleman in issue 39. Um, so yeah, this was a good issue. It was a good ending to the story, but I kind of like wished that they. I wish it was a longer story. Like I wish that more things happened in that. Um, wait, Wonder Woman can fly? What? Um, I wish, I wish it was like a more like intense, longer story, but it, it was still a good ending to it just cause the art is so great. But yeah, I really do like issue number 39 a lot more than this one. Um, so yeah, that's my review of Batman number 40. Uh, go check out my review of issue number 39. Um, and yeah, subscribe, make sure you still subscribe, turn on the notification bell for, um, uh, uh, notifications, L leave a comment, tell me if you liked it, which one you liked better maybe. Um, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching. You sleeping, Crypto?